What's up, everybody watching on their computer, smartphone, tablet, or TV? This is Andy. Whoa, let me fix this. There we go, that's better. Today, I'm going to explain to you how the Golden State Warriors path for the championship will happen this summer. Without further ado, no more rambling. Let's get straight to the Western Conference. I see Golden State easily beating Portland in five, for the most, but five games. You have an interesting series here, the 4-5 matchup. Los Angeles playing Utah. I could see this going six or seven games, but because the Clippers have home court, it's likely going to be the Clippers taking on the Warriors in the semis. That series could go six or seven games, but in the end, Golden State's going to get the job done. So there is how they're going to make it to the Western Conference Finals. But who are they likely to play? San Antonio playing Memphis. That's going to be five games for sure. Maybe four if San Antonio just quickly sweeps them. Houston taking Oklahoma City. This could be a six or seven game series. But I actually see Oklahoma City moving on possibility. But once they get to the semis, San Antonio is going to beat them in six. So, a potential classic Western Conference Finals could happen between Golden State, San Antonio. Six or seven games, keeping in mind here, let's keep the number of margin reasonable, but I'm going to stick with the Warriors to go to the finals, so that takes care of the West. But, who will come out of the Eastern Conference? A very different looking Eastern Conference that features the Boston Celtics being the number one seed because Cleveland could not close out the regular season on a high note and thus finishing up as the two seed. Boston will easily sweep the Chicago Bulls. Don't need to get into that. Let's quickly go into this series here. Washington taking on the Hawks. I could see this actually going six or seven games. It's a possibility. I very well see the Wizards taking on the Celtics in the second round. Now, this could be a classic second round matchup. That can go six or seven games. Keeping in mind here, let's be rational here for a second. I am going to predict that the Celtics will easily be in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, let's look at Cleveland's situation for a sec. I understand everybody wants to see the Greek freak move on, but the Raptors are the better team. Possibly a five or six game series. They will move on. Cleveland should take care of Indiana in five no matter what happens. But the question going into the semifinals... Will the Cavs have enough going down the stretch? I don't think they will. That's the problem. I just don't see it happening. So, I'm going to predict Raptors. Yes, the Raptors in seven games. I just don't think Cleveland six the most, but seven is definitely a good possibility. I don't know if Cleveland has enough. So, the Eastern Conference Finals. I am easily going to say the Celtics move on to the NBA Finals. Just because one seed playing a one seed is obvious. Meaning your 2017 NBA Finals matchup will be the Boston Celtics taking on the Golden State Warriors. I want to see that happen. But as a safe bet, I'm going to say Golden State in five. Golden State's the better team. The Celtics have enough to get past the Eastern Conference, but once they get into the finals, the Warriors are just too much to handle. Durant will win his first NBA title. Curry, Thompson, all the other guys in 2015 who are still on the Warriors will get their second rings, including Coach Kerr. So there you have it. That's how Golden State's going to make it to the NBA Finals. Simple video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Golden State will prevail. Trust me. I know what I'm saying. 
They are just a better team overall going into the playoffs, and they're going to be hot. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.